So I will um, provide today a brief overview of our compound CSTI 500, which is a triple monoamine reuptake inhibitor for Prader-Willi syndrome. So dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine are three key monoamine neurotransmitters, which work within our central nervous system to regulate vital functions such as feeding behaviors and mood control. And Prader-Willi syndrome is known to be associated with low levels of these monoamines. So we think this then contributes to the impaired neurotransmission and consequently the behavioral and physiological abnormalities that we see in this disorder. And CSTI 500 can influence the levels of all three of these monoamines. And in PWS, we're aiming to restore their levels back towards normal. And it can do this by um, addressing the monoamine imbalances across multiple brain centers in PWS. So here we have three of the centers that are key in PWS. So the reward center, the executive center, and the satiety center. And this slide is just really to demonstrate that CSTI 500 can have a broad and hopefully a comprehensive impact on the symptoms of PWS and by targeting multiple monoamines across multiple different brain centers. So that's exactly what we're aiming for. We're aiming for a comprehensive symptom management approach using CSTI 500. So here we're showing the results of a survey that is now a decade old, but is still really relevant today. So in the survey, um, patients and caregivers were asked to think of their ideal therapy for PWS and what symptoms it would target. And those that are listed under this chart here are the symptoms that were deemed the most important or very important. And this includes things like reduced hunger, reduced temper outbursts, improved sleep, etc. And where we've added the green ticks, these are symptoms that are driven by or influenced by monoamines. So this really demonstrates the impact that, mono, that monoamines are having in PWS and shows the clinical relevance of our approach with CSTI 500. It also nicely shows the therapeutic potential of CSTI 500 to, um, to treat a variety of different symptoms and provide um, a comprehensive treatment strategy. There are some clinical evidence from previous PWS trials using um, drugs within the same class as CSTI 500. So on the left, we have tezofensine, which is another triple monoamine reuptake inhibitor, so targeting all three monoamines. And tezofensine showed remarkable reduction in hyperphagia score in a small placebo-controlled con tr PWS trial. But it was intolerable for some patients um, who had a high blood drug concentration, which showed the need for individualized dosing. On the right, we have um, sertraline, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, so just influencing the levels of one monoamine. And sertraline um, demonstrated a near complete reduction of temper outbursts in PWS in this trial. And to achieve this, they used individually individualized titration. So results like this support the rationale that targeting monoamines with CSTI 500 um, has the potential ability to treat both hyperphagia and temper outbursts. And it also teaches us that there's a need for individualized dosing in this patient population. Results from these types of trials also can tell us about the brain occupancy levels needed in order to achieve clinical efficacy. So with tezofensine, it substantially reduced hyperphagia with a dose that corresponded to about 60% DAT. And with sertraline, it effectively managed temp outbursts with a dose corresponding to about 75% CERT. And we can then look at the results with CSTI 500 and see how it corresponds. So the chart on the left-hand side of the slide is the results of our brain occupancy levels taken from our phase one trials. And if you look towards the right, you can see that we can achieve about 60% about DAT and 75% CERT. So CSTI 500 can reach both the DAT and CERT occupancy levels that has the potential to treat both hyperphagia and temper outbursts. And we're proposing to do this using an individualized dosing system so that we can target these occupancy levels through a personalized dose for each patient. 
And this will be based on the individual pharmacokinetics. And hopefully this aims to achieve optimal efficacy for each patient as well as patient safety. And just to finish by summarizing the clinical status. So to date, a total of 97 humans have been dosed with CSTI 500. And this includes our most recent phase one clinical trial with prada willi syndrome patients. And that concluded last year. And the results showed that CSTI 500 was safe and well tolerated in that patient population. And it supports us moving into phase two. Our phase two protocol has now been agreed by the FDA and we're expecting to commence that study next year. So thank you for your time today and I'll be happy to answer questions at the end of the presentations.